Picture a universe where we aren't alone, and friendships extend beyond our planet, perhaps even our solar system. The infinite expanse of space has always presented mysteries that fascinate and perplex us. Among these mysteries is the question of extraterrestrial life. NASA's recent observation, pointing to the possibility of a water ocean on a distant exoplanet, has reignited this age-old debate. In today's video, we'll examine NASA's latest discovery. This remarkable observation was made using the James Webb Space Telescope, which gazed 120 light-years away in the LEO constellation. Scientists named the exoplanet K218b, a remarkable name for an entity of such potential importance. On studying further in the exploration of K218b, it was discovered that it had a mass 8.6 times that of Earth and detected carbon-rich compounds, including methane and carbon dioxide. This revelation builds on earlier findings, suggesting that K218b could be a high CN exoplanet, boasting a hydrogen-dense atmosphere and a surface dominated by oceans. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope provided the initial glimpse into its atmospheric characteristics, leading to subsequent research that reshaped our comprehension of this system. When it comes to exoplanets, CO2 serves as a marker for metal enrichment, referring to elements beyond helium, often termed metallicity. This hints at the formation mechanisms of the initial atmospheres of hot gas giants. Additionally, CO2 stands out as one of the most promising elements to identify in the subsequent atmospheres of rocky exoplanets. Located 120 light-years away, K218b orbits the temperate dwarf star K218 within its habitable zone. Exoplanets of K218b's kind, with sizes falling between Earth and Neptune, are unique, having no counterparts in our solar system. These kinds of planets remain a mystery to us. The idea of K218b as a high CN exoplanet is captivating. Many astronomers theorize that such planets offer prime conditions for seeking signs of extraterrestrial life. The fact that it has a lot of methane and carbon dioxide, but not much ammonia, supports the idea that an ocean might be under its hydrogen-filled atmosphere. Early data from the James Webb Space Telescope also suggests the possible presence of dimethyl sulfide on the planet. Dimethyl sulfide is primarily produced by Earth's life forms with marine flora being its main atmospheric contributor. The assertion regarding its presence on K218b needs concrete and further validation. The presence of DMS, however, is still to be confirmed and requires further investigation. Upcoming James Webb Space Telescope observations should be able to confirm if DMS is indeed present in the atmosphere of K218b at significant levels, said Niku Madhusudan a University of Cambridge astronomer and lead author of the NASA research. This isn't the first time NASA has seen signs of water on other planets. They previously found water vapor on Hat P11b, an exoplanet about the size of Neptune, located 120 light years away in the Cygnus constellation. While this discovery is exciting, scientists warn it doesn't automatically mean the planet can support life. Madhusudan said, our research shows we should look at different types of places when searching for life elsewhere. Usually we look at small, rocky planets, but bigger planets like Hycean worlds are easier to study for their atmospheres. Scientists used a smart method to study K218b by looking at the light from its parent star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. As NASA pointed out, K218b moves across its star, causing a slight decrease in the star's brightness. This technique helped find the planet in 2015 during a NASA mission. When the planet moves across its star, a tiny bit of the star's light goes through its atmosphere and is then seen by telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. After passing through the planet's atmosphere, this light carries special markers. Astronomers study these markers to figure out what gases are in the planet's atmosphere, NASA added. While K218b is in the habitable zone and has carbon-rich materials, it doesn't necessarily mean it can support life. The planet is about 2.6 times bigger than Earth and might have a thick layer of high-pressure ice, similar to Neptune. It does have a thinner, hydrogen-rich atmosphere and possibly an ocean surface. 
Even though high CN planets are often thought to have liquid oceans, K218's ocean could be too hard or not liquid enough to hold life. This result was only possible because of the extended wavelength range and unprecedented sensitivity of the James Webb Space Telescope, which enabled robust detection of spectral features with just two transits, Madhusudan said. One transit observation with James Webb Space Telescope Webb provided comparable precision to eight observations with Hubble Telescope conducted over a few years and in a relatively narrow wavelength range. With the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists found evidence of complex organic molecules similar to smog or smoke in a distant galaxy. This is the oldest discovery of such molecules, beating the previous record by about a billion years. These molecules were found in a young galaxy when the universe was only about 10% of its current age. Known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, these carbon-rich molecules can be found in Earth's coal, oil, and smog. So why is this finding so significant? The study's lead astronomer, Justin Spiker, emphasized that the molecules they identified aren't basic entities like water or carbon dioxide. These are substantial, intricate molecules with potentially hundreds of atoms, he said. It's astounding to think that the universe could produce such large molecules so soon after the Big Bang, contrary to our existing models. Given the galaxy's vast distance, the light seen by scientists started its journey just about 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Considering the universe is around 13.8 billion years old, we're looking back at its early days. The James Webb Space Telescope made this discovery possible breaking the previous record by almost a billion years. This leads to an exciting thought. Could we find more such molecules even closer to the Big Bang's time? What do you think? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. In the past, attempts to find these molecules in old galaxies could only confirm whether they were there. But we can pinpoint where these molecules are with the James Webb Space Telescope's advanced capabilities. In the galaxy called SPT-041847, these molecules are scattered unevenly, a mystery yet to be solved. This discovery also suggests that galaxies might have formed earlier in the universe's history than we previously thought, during a time seen as chaotic. It's amazing that even though this galaxy is only about 10% as old as the Milky Way, it's similar in weight, and its stars have made almost the same amounts of carbon and oxygen. Over a limited time, the telescope has let us see further back in time, showing clear pictures of distant stars and the mysterious structures around them. Some of the incredible things we've seen include a star close to ending its life. Young galaxies formed just 350 million years after the Big Bang, and huge cosmic oddity galaxies that don't fit what we currently think, which could change our understanding of the universe. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its quest in the universe, we're amazed by how big and complex it is. Are we soon going to see the universe differently? What do you think? Chime in with your cosmic insights in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big bang thumbs up and rocket that subscribe button. Before you float away to Roa, click on the video on your screen for more celestial tales.